This working Sunday marks the 11th White House briefing on coronavirus with new details on the availability of testing. We are now in a new phase of testing. We will have 1.9 million of these high throughput tests available this week. With scenes like these around the country showing Americans waiting for coronavirus screening, the Trump administration called on major retailers to provide use of parking lot space to stage drive through testing sites. We are using the full power of the federal government to defeat the coronavirus, and we will do whatever it takes, and we're doing, I think, really, really well. The worst is yes ahead for us. It is how we respond to that challenge that's going to determine what the ultimate endpoint is going to be. This window that we're in is going to be very important for us to stay ahead of this curve. Friday in the Rose Garden, retail CEOs said they are prepared to assist. So we've been asked to make portions of our parking lot available in select locations in the beginning and scaling over time as supply increases. New today, a White House message about your trip to the grocery store, where some shelves are bare. There's no need for anybody in the country to hoard essential food supplies. They said to me, could you please tell them, just go and buy, enjoy it, have a nice dinner, relax. Kelly's with us now from the White House. Uh, Kelly, there was also a big move today to help boost the economy. A stunning one, really, Kate. The Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank, slashed its benchmark rate by a full point to nearly zero and pledged to buy nearly uh, 700 and 200 billion in Treasury and mortgage backed securities to try to counter the economic peril of coronavirus. That put a big smile on the president's face. He often criticizes the Federal Reserve. Today, he offered his congratulations. Kate? Kelly O'Donnell at the White House. Thank you, Kelly. Dr. John, the White House had led us to believe yesterday that today they would announce nationwide testing rolling out. It's not quite that. It's in the states that are hardest hit. Is that going to help? It's going to help. We're behind the curve a little bit, and this would have helped more two or three weeks ago. But they're certainly making big movements now that are going to help going forward. They just need to continue that momentum to make sure we understand where the outbreaks are. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.